complete Data Trust account training. Prior to entering transactions against our sales trust within listings, we need to enter in our bank account details. To do that, click on Trust Accounting from the main screen of Complete Data. This will now prompt you for a password. You have actually been supplied with this password and we have the ability to change the password at your request. This has now taken us into the Trust Control Centre. Scrolling up to the top of this screen, we need to click on Reports Setup. Click on Bank Account Details. We already have Trust Account 1 set up in here for you to edit your information into. Scrolling over to the right hand side of this screen, click on the Details button and then edit this account. Manually type in your information about your company. you've typed in all your bank account information, click the red Save Changes and that will store that information for you within Complete Data. You also have the ability to add in more than one trust account. If you need to create a new account, just click the red Create New Account button and that will create a second trust account for you. Clicking on the red Details tab will take you in so that you can then edit the account information for Trust Account 2. We're now just going to go back to our Trust Control Centre. Clicking back onto Report Setup takes you where we entered in our bank account details and we now need to enter in our opening balance. Now there's two steps to enter in your opening balance. If you're currently using, using Trust within another program, we need to enter in the reconciled balance. But prior to doing that, we'll do a few more steps within Complete Data. So let's look at opening our balance with the zero balance. Type in your statement date. So let's say the 1st of the 9th, 2009. And in our Trust Account, we have a zero balance. So we just put zero in there, Trust Account 1 and click OK. That is if our bank account has a zero balance at the moment. If you've been using Trust within another program, what we need to do is enter those transactions against the listings within Complete Data prior to entering our opening balance because that would be the reconciled balance from your previous trust accounting program. So we've only just entered in our bank account details at this stage because we have used trust within a previous program. Click in the CD icon, we're now going to go back to the main screen. Now we're currently holding money against some properties. Clicking onto listings, we're going to go into our property 13 Pool Street click on Sales Advice and click on Trust Accounting. So we currently hold money in here. Again, this is the same password to access the Trust Control Centre. So we're currently on 13 Pool Street and we're holding money against this property. Under our Deposit Ledger, we enter New Receipt. It automatically comes up with the receipt number. You have the ability to change this receipt number to reflect a receipt book that you may operate. Now the date received. If you've got information about when you received this money that you're still holding, you can enter in that correct date. Alternatively, enter in a date prior to the last reconciled date. So let's say we're going to be using trust within complete data from the 1st of September 2009. As long as this date received is prior to that date, that's fine. Who did we receive this money from? And the transaction type is going to be a deposit. The amount that we still have in now Mr. Purchaser may have given us $10,000, but we've paid out $5,000 already. You only need to enter in the amount that is still being held in your trust account because we're setting up prior to entering in our opening balance at the moment. So we've got $5,000 sitting in this account. Description. Property address automatically populates and trust account. Again, you can select which trust account it needs to go into. Click OK. Now we have our payment method. Now this money is already stored in your bank account. So what we're going to use is EFT. Therefore, we don't need to show banking against this. It's an automatic deposit into our account. We don't need to fill in anything else and click OK. So what we've done we can print off a receipt, but I'm just going to say cancel to that because we don't need a copy. 
So what we've done so far is we've entered in our bank account details, now we're going through all our properties and entering any money that we're currently holding against each property. So we've got 5,000 being held against 13 Pool Street. Click the CD icon to go back to the main screen and let's go to our next property. So listings, we find the property, sales advice, trust accounting, and we're holding money against 413 Avoca Drive as well. So again, enter new receipt. Receipt number automatically populates. Prior to our opening balance, we're putting in a date received, or if you actually have the date received, you type that in. And again, put in the purchases details of who you receive the money from. Transaction type again is a deposit, and how much money are we currently holding in this account? Description. And OK. And again, this transaction is an EFT because it's already sitting in our bank account. And click OK. OK, you've now entered in all the receipts that you're currently holding money in your actual bank account for. What we also need to enter is any unpresented checks, as these checks will be presented in the near future, so need to be entered into complete data prior to opening entering in our opening balance. So to do that, you need to be on a property that you currently have money in that account. So this property here, 413 Avoca Drive, we're currently holding $2,000 in our trust account for this property. We've also drawn a check, which is still unpresented. So enter new payment. Payment method will be a check. The amount will be 1,000. Date paid was the 29th. Payee, and the description. Check number, manually type in the check number, trust account one, and click OK. So now we've got that check there, so once it shows presented on our bank statement, we have the ability of marking that check off presented. We are now set up to enter in our opening balance. You can either go back to the main screen and click on Trust from the main screen or alternatively from this screen, Trust Control Centre will take you straight there. Scrolling up to the top of here, Reports and Setup. Enter Opening Balance, Statement Date on your uh, Reconciled Bank Statement will be the 30th of the 8th, 2009 and your reconciled balance. Now this is not your statement balance from your bank statement. It's the actual reconciled balance from the previous system that you were using the trust in. So enter that information in here and click OK. We are now ready to use Complete Data's trust on a daily basis. CD icon will take us back to the main screen.